Hey everybody in YouTube land. I sure have missed y'all. It's been kind of a crazy time. I had to go to Missouri and Tennessee and visit my mother and get her moved out of an apartment into a nursing home. And uh, just keep her in, her in your prayers. Her name is Elizabeth. And um, I wanted to show you a few things I've been working on. So uh, yesterday, I filmed a new tutorial that's over in my platform. If you want to learn how to paint with acrylics traditionally and don't have any experience or very little experience, this is what I do it for. I do it to teach you how to paint with acrylics traditionally with brushes. And occasionally I may throw in a fluid art piece with intention with no fast forwarding and no skipping and detailed instructions. So. That's what my tutorial platform is all about. The link is below the video and you can uh, check it out. It's called Embrace Your Creative Spirit. And I'm a firm believer in art being therapeutic and healing. And it brings a lot of happiness into my life. So the latest tutorial that I painted yesterday was a jellyfish. And here it is. It's on a really vivid blue background that has a little metallic on it. It's got some shimmer. And I did a funky jellyfish and some almost bubble looking things. And of course the tendrils that come off of a jellyfish. So this is one of my classes on Thinkific. And if you purchase a class, it's $35. You have lifetime access to it. You can watch it with your friends and family, paint it in the comfort of your home, have a party and paint it. You can do anything you'd like with the video. So here is the jellyfish tutorial. So check it out below. And you know, I've been on an angel kick and I plan on doing a lot more angels in different styles. But I've lately done, I don't know, about six or seven angel paintings. And here's the latest one that I had done. And I think I have a fast forwarded video on this one, but it's gold with a little bit of a copper accent on the edges and shimmer. See the shimmer? It's iridescent looking. And then I use the, uh, the Deco Art Ultra Fine Tip Writer to do the detail and it has a little bit of a raised look, which I really like that with that fine tip writer. And so this is on a 10 inch MDF round and that's also in my Amazon link below the video. Or you can get a 10 inch canvas from Hobby Lobby that's a circle like this. Now I always paint the back side and you can put it on an easel and stand it on a table or a desk or bookshelf. Um, you can put a little sawtooth hanger on the top and hang it on the wall. So there's many options for this angel. But I felt the calling to paint angels. Uh, it's just been really close to my heart and what I've felt inspired to do. So there will be lots more angels coming in different styles and adding all kinds of neat embellishments. I wanted to show you, I went through my mother's apartment and we had to, you know, move out some furniture and her personal belongings and that kind of thing. And she had several paintings of mine and one of my sisters kept some of them and I brought back a couple. And so now they're going to be back for sale and I've always loved to paint birds and I wanted to show you these two. They were specifically done with her in mind and she wanted them from me. And so they were in her room for years and so I am putting them back on the market. I do have an Etsy shop. The link is below the video and I'm going to add these in my Etsy shop. These are 12 inch canvases and this one is a red bird. It's an actual real bird. I don't remember the name of it, but I found it on uh, Google and I actually painted this one in 2015, so almost five years ago. And so if you're a bird lover, this one is going to be for sale. And then this one I did in 2014. It's a meadowlark. And I named it Meadowlark Song. 
I do know what bird this one is. And so this one is uh, also, I love it too because it has purple in it and purple is one of my um, favorite colors, even though I love every color imaginable. But I wanted you to see the meadow lark painting, so that's going to be in my Etsy shop as well. I've got tons of paintings, and they're not all in my Etsy shop, but if you ever see me do a video and there's a painting that you're interested in, just shoot me an email, sandra at sandralet.com, or message me in the comments on YouTube. The only problem is I can comment back on YouTube here, but I cannot email you from YouTube. It does not give me your email address. So there's really no way for me to contact people that ask questions other than to comment back below my YouTube video. So you have to actually email me, sandra at sandralet.com, if you have a question to ask me about a piece. And finally, I had to show you one more time the uh, collaboration that I did with Heather Mater was just off the chain. She sent me a beautiful acrylic pour that she had done with her metallics and she used the primary elements from Color Art and I'm waiting to get my package of those so I can experiment with them. And then she shipped it to me from Oregon and I'm in North Carolina and we collaborated and I painted a peacock and this is the final painting. And as you can see, it's very vivid and uh, all, all of it is metallics. I don't know if you can tell in the lighting, but every bit of the painting was done with metallics. And um, someone bought it local that's probably within an hour of me. Well, okay, look, a person in North Dakota bought it and I am delivering it to the person that he purchased it for who lives near me. She has no clue that this is going to be her painting, but she's a peacock fanatic. And I know her personally and I thought of her immediately when I painted this, but this person in North Dakota purchased this painting for her and I'm going to surprise her in the next day or two with this painting at her office. So I can't wait to deliver it, it to her and see her reaction because she has no clue that it is her painting. So this is the beautiful peacock painting. And I wanted to show you another thing I've added into my Etsy shop is a metallic luster print of this peacock. And I wanted to show you you see how shimmery that is? It's, it's a metallic print, and this one is 16 inches. And the painting originally was 18 inches. So if you can see, it's almost the exact size of the original. And the color is pretty stunning. So I just wanted to show you this beautiful print. So this print is available in my Etsy store, and uh, I have a limited amount of prints, but it is available for purchase in my Etsy store. So if you want to click on the link below, it will take you to my shop. So that's it for now, and uh, I haven't done much pouring lately because of everything going on with my mother. Uh, she's doing well. She's got terminal cancer and she had a little bit of a stroke and so fortunately because of her stroke she's immobilized. She can't really move around that much. She's fallen twice since she's been at the nursing home and um, she's pretty oblivious to the fact that she has terminal cancer which is a good thing and she's not in any pain. So I'm just extremely grateful that she is doing as well as she is doing. And, you know, she has kind of slurred speech and some things she doesn't comprehend. But she's been pretty, pretty with it for the most part uh, mentally. And that's a good thing. And I'm just happy that um, she's not in any sort of pain at this point. So, again, if you'll just pray for Elizabeth and... Um, 
I appreciate your support. My wild and crazy puppy is going to town over here. He is like going crazy. Come here. So here is Harley. This is Harley. He is four and a half months old, almost, almost five months. He's a Sheltie, so he's a miniature version of a Collie, and he is a sweetheart. He has brought me so much joy since we've had him at Christmas, and uh, so he's the new member of the family, and he's a good, good boy. So occasionally you're going to see posts with Harley and pictures on Instagram and everywhere else. So Harley says, hey everybody, it's good to meet you. So I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much and hugs to everybody. Bye-bye.